So at the beginning of the shift, uh, the officer is going to test their, their body-worn camera as well as their dash camera. And simply to test the, the body-worn camera, they're going to push this button. Recording. And it's going to tell you that it's recording. The red light's flashing, which means that it's recording. Um, once, the, once the call's over or the traffic stop's over and they want to stop recording, they just simply push the button again. Stop recording. It'll tell you stop categorize. recording and you categorize, no, categorize video it. Video check. So if you're just checking your video, it would be that. Arrest. If there was an arrest made, you'd categorize it that. It's held longer in Self storage. Self-initiated activity. Self-initiated activity would means maybe you just got out with the subject or you made a traffic stop on somebody. Calls for service. That's a call for service where there's actually a, a call made to, to speak with somebody. Self-initiated activity. Arrest, that was video it. check. So video check is what we just did. We checked our video, make sure it's going. Confirm. And then you confirm it. And then you can pull it up on your squad car video and watch it from there. Every officer is assigned their own body camera. Okay. Okay, so sometimes um, if you're working longer than an eight hour shift, it won't hold a charge. It's not gonna hold the charge. Does it hold it for eight hours? It's, it'll do eight, it's, it's, but it won't make it double. Not much. I mean, it'll get to nine so I was at Briar Cliff recruiting all day today, and then I had to stop at the um, Urban Native Center um, to do a little press conference on a missing gal there. Um, so my camera started to beep on me, which means the battery's going dead. Even, even if you go the whole eight hour shift without making a contact, let's say, and that never really happens, but, it would it would kill, still run, and it would start telling you that it's going dead, that there's okay. there's there's losing power. Um, and what does it say? It says like battery. battery low. It talks to you. Battery low. That's what it okay. says. Battery low. So when it started telling me my battery was low, and then I'll, I'll stop this a minute. Stop recording. So you just push it. Categorize. Now you categorize Nine. it. Calls for service. So we were on a call for service. Self initiated. Self initiated be like a traffic stop. Mm -hmm. Arrest. Arrest, you know, obviously arrest somebody. Video check. Video check is every, at the beginning of the shift, every officer in a squad car Confirm. checks their. Oh, I see. I understand. Checks their video, checks their, make sure that's recording. And they'll check their, their dash cam, their body cam. Mm -hmm. um, so it's working. So yeah, so anyway, mine was going, mine was telling me that the battery was going low, so I just put it on a charger and I grabbed one of the pool cameras. Mm -hmm. So Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, in general, uh, what do your officers think of body cams? Oh, they love them. Yeah, they love them because, uh, number one, for evidentiary purposes, um, they're excellent. It captures the scene it captures, you know, what the what the person was wearing, um, what they said exactly uh, during that encounter. One of the big events that uh, helped us get these is there was a gal, and I don't remember the gal's name, but I talked to her a few times, and she sat up a uh, like a little table and stuff out in front of the police station when they were going through the the protests from the George Floyd killing. Yeah, it was a petition, right? Mm -hmm. That that. Yeah, and she was signing it, and I signed it, and. <laughs> you signed yeah. it. I think most of the officers here went out and signed okay. it because we were trying to get these. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to get the support because uh, always the big issue was the, the money. For right. Mm -hmm. That was always the big issue. Um, but as far as um, they were, they've been testing body cameras for a number of years because when, when I was on day shift patrol before I was ever promoted, so this would have been probably 2014, 2013, right in there. I, I tested. I was like the test dummy. I tested different body cameras. Hmm. Uh, to see what I liked. Different models. Different models, yeah. And so we were in the test phase clear back then, going through different companies to see what they would charge us. And then they would always give us some to try. And I was a, a day shift officer at the time. And so I would take these different cameras and, and try them out for several shifts. Hmm. And some of them were, you know, one I didn't like at all where it would, uh, you would have to like physically close it, you know, to turn it off. And I kept forgetting to do that. And so I would, be in the bathroom and sure. all of a sudden I was like, oh shoot, my body camera's still going, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so that, I mean, it was kind of like a trial and error thing, mm -hmm. right? So, um, so yeah, we've been, we've been testing these out for a number of years before we actually, we actually purchased them. So basically when you're done with your shift, you go in and you set it on the charger that acts also, it pulls it off on the cloud stuff. I see. So that's all just set to their network. 
Same with the cars. If you were to plug it in in your car, then it would just mesh with your car video. And so... And up, upload your, from, from the car? Right. So There's charges when you, in all the cars. When you, pull, okay. when you pull into the lot, that just pulls it off on the Wi-Fi. I see. All right. So when the officers come in for their shift, they'll usually come in here first and they'll grab their, their body camera. So like, for example, Officer Hector, he works overnight, so he'll come and grab his camera. She'll be fully charged, which it is. And then at the end of the shift, they'll return 